Okay, so recently I made a um, piezo amplifier <coughs> using an MPF-102 and this stuff in the background incidentally is from another video where I was preparing PCB so it was for this project. Um, I'll have a link in the description to that. But um, I wasn't amazed by the MPF-102, um, basically what it did. So I wanted to look at you know, how I can do it with a discrete chip. And basically I found uh, a couple of people who had done the same thing. One using a TL072, which is what I want to develop, and another using an NE5534. And um, they're both basically buffers which put out a line level signal, which isn't really what I want. So this is the first stage in the project for me. The uh, 5534 gives a much better signal, but it's kind of what I'm chasing with the TL072. I think I can get pretty close, but I want it to be, you know, variable gain and what have you. So I made some uh, piezo transducers, the 3D printed spacer, and then filled in with epoxy. And I will have a separate video on how I'm making these because I sort of finding new ways to improve them as I go and I <coughs> really want to try putting a capacitor in there as well just see what happens but um, this is basically one of them just being made I'm just using epoxy glue <coughs> and moving into the testing basically I'm testing out these things that's the 5534 um, and that's the TL072, the 5534 is a pretty funky arrangement, I was just playing. But that's what those um, things were. And I had some testing with a piece of pitcher glass. It makes high pitch ringing sort of sound, but it's good for testing. I'm using fresh batteries. I'm trying to make everything around about as even as I can, you know. But um, I'm recording both of those and I've got the camera audio going at the same time. So I have peppercorns, sand and rice from left to right. Ignore the three card Monty thing. Camera. TL072. And then the 5534. Same again on camera. TL072. Three, four. Camera. Seven, two. Five, three, so I think you get the picture. It's camera Taylor seven two five five three four, um, and you also get the picture that the five five three four is working better.
by three, four. I'm holding the base to stop the glass from clattering. So yeah, as you can see, the um, 5534 gives a much better um, tone and less clipping and what have you. But um, I am interested in how much I can optimize the TLO72 and I can also go to a 5532 from that design. I'm trying to avoid the 5534 because I can't find a SMD package for that. But this is stage one and um, moving on from here to breadboarding.